how have you been? Welcome back to our TLE class. I am Mom Denise de la Cruz, your TLE teacher. Join me as we learn new lesson in Illustration 7. Are you ready for another fun and exciting learning experience? If you are, kindly ready your notebook, pen, and learning module. Before we start, I would like you to remember two things. Click the heart reaction if you understand the lesson, and comment your questions if you don't. Let's begin. Our learning competency and outcome for this day are to assess the hand tools and equipment for proper operation and safety. For today's objectives, let us first identify what are the specific illustration tools to be cleaned and taken care of. Second, analyze a particular situation on how to clean a certain illustration tool. Lastly, clean illustration tools and equipment properly. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us play a game called Guess the Picture. For the mechanics of this game, all you need to do is to identify the given pictures. Can you still recall the measuring tools that can create geometric shapes? Very well! You will be given 5 seconds to type your answers in the comment box. Can you guess this one? Great job! These are triangles. How about this one? Excellent! This is a compass. Next, what do you call this measuring tool? Marvelous! This is a ruler. How about this one? Great job! This is a triangular scale. Lastly, can you guess this one? Very good learners! This is a protractor. It seems that you fully understood the previous lesson. For today, we will talk about how to properly clean and store illustration tools. These are the things you need to know and remember when cleaning and storing your illustration tools. Number one, be sure to inspect tools before using them. This is to check if they are in working condition. This can be detected when there is ease and speed when in use. Next, after using a tool, clean it thoroughly with a damp cloth. Wipe it dry with another piece of cloth before keeping it. Here is a video on how you can clean your drawing tool. Five, 
Avoid throwing a tool to anybody. Instead, hand it over carefully. Avoid setting off the distances individually by moving the scale to a new position from time to time. Because slight errors in the measurements may accumulate and give rise to a large error. 7. Avoid unnecessary sliding of T-square or triangles to protect your drawing. Pick up the triangle by its tip and tilt the T-square blade upward slightly before moving. Do not pull too much the steel tape of a pull push rule to the coil spring to avoid damage, just like in this picture. 9. Oil the movable parts of the measuring tools such as zigzag rules, calipers, dividers, and compasses to avoid stack up. Lastly, report defective measuring tools and any hazards to the instructor immediately. To check your understanding of our lesson, can you solve the following problems? Amara is a sales lady at Ace Hardware One Mall, Valenzuela, who sells a scale. She avoids setting off the distances of scales individually by moving to a new position from time to time. Why does she avoid doing this? Very good! This is to avoid slight errors in the measurements that may accumulate and give rise to a large error. Next is, in her project, Sam, a member of Guit Valenzuela Artists, uses T-square as a guide for drawing horizontal lines on her drafting table. When not in use, what is the proper way of keeping her T-square? Marvelous! The proper way of storing a T-square is by hanging and inserting the hole to a nail attached to a wall at the end of its blade. Now, let us have another activity. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Type your answer in the comment box. Let's start. Number one, do not abuse or misuse any piece of drawing instruments. Is it true or false? The correct answer is true. Number two, do not pull too much of the steel tape of a pull push rule to the coil spring to avoid damage. The answer is true. Number three, do not report defective measuring tools and any hazards to the instructor immediately. The answer is false. Number four, to avoid throwing a tool at anybody instead, Hand it over to him carefully. Correct! The answer is true. And number five, when in use, the T-square is preferably hung by inserting the hole to a nail attached to a wall at the end of its blade. The answer is true. 
it is better to own a few tools than several poor ones. In acquiring tools, be guided by quality and durability. Quality tools are known by their popular trademark. But also, consider that the life of any drawing or measuring tools will depend on how well you take care of them. Drafting measuring tools should be well maintained to continue working properly. Organizing and storing these items have a great deal to do with keeping them in tip-top shape and good working condition. Can I have a hard reaction if you have understood our lesson for today? Congratulations, learners! Your time and effort in participating in this lesson prove that you are ready in answering the activities in your learning packets. For your assignment, kindly answer the following activities in your Week 6 PLE 7 learning module. What I know, what's more, and what I can do. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to message your daily teachers. Surely, they will attend to you immediately. Thank you very much for making yourself connected in today's lesson. Keep safe, everyone, and see you again in our next Valenzuela Live. Bye!